Hi, today we want to show you how to make 5 cool text animations. First create a fusion composition. Put it on the timeline. Make sure your pointer is on the clip and go to the fusion page. Grab this icon to add the background. Connect it to media out. Select background and click this icon to add text. It will merge automatically. Adjust your text. Select merge node and click shift plus space. Type invert and click add. Now we added an invert color node. Select it and go to the settings in the inspector. Here we have blend, which allows us to invert it back. Add a keyframe every couple of seconds and change it back and forth. To make it more interesting, select text node, go to shading and change appearance every time the invert node is changing. And here you go! Next animation is easier and a bit more spectacular. Add video to the timeline. Go to Fusion, select Media In and click Text. Adjust the text and animate it how you'd like it to appear. We want this text to show only on the book. Select text node and click this icon to add mask. Draw a mask where the text should be invisible. Invert it at the end. Now in this area you won't see this text. Next animation is even easier to make. Add text to the timeline and make it as big as you can. On top of the text, add a video. Go to the inspector, find composite and select multiply. How cool is that? Next text animation is really spectacular. Add text to the timeline. Go to Effects and find Light Rays. Set Soften to 0 and extend these rays. Go to position and set the rays at the beginning to face north and at the end south. Then go to brightness and set 4 keyframes to make animation more alive. At the beginning and the end Set brightness to zero, but in the middle part leave the settings as they were. You can use rays with different animations. Use the knowledge you gained in this video and experiment with other text animations. At the end we will show you the most difficult text animation, but it's worth learning. Create a fusion composition. Add background and text.
right click on the text box and select follower. Go to modifier, transform, then go to the end of the first transition. Add the keyframe in rotation, then go to the beginning of the transition and set Y to negative 90. Then go to shading and add two keyframes to the transition. Set opacity at the beginning to zero. Now go to the timing and set delay to 1.2. Each character is going after another. It's really cool, but you can use follower modifier to make much cooler transitions. For example, try this with size. Set it the same as the previous transition. The delay is making transitions longer, so you will need to stretch your clip. Now see the final result. In DaVinci Resolve you can experiment with text animation a lot, so use this knowledge and make some cool animations. Let us know in the comments which technique you find the most helpful and which one you haven't tried before. Thank you for watching!